Are we in a bubble? That's what everybody wants to know. We are not in a housing bubble. Let me tell you why. Michelle Odo with the Odo Group at Luminate Home Loans, a brighter lending experience. So if you like this video and you'd like to hear more mortgage information or happenings in the market, please like, share, and subscribe below. Show us the love. We'd love to give you updates on the weekly basis as we are always creating new videos with information for you. The reason we are not in a bubble and we don't foresee a bubble is the last bubble that we had in 08 was completely different than where we are today. Yes, people are overbidding on homes. Yes, housing prices are going through the roof. Yes, you are competing with hundreds of people to buy the same house you want. However, why we are not in a bubble is because back in 08 when we saw that huge housing crisis versus today, 2021, here are the differences. We have about 30% more new buyers in the housing market today trying to buy a home than we had back then. 30% more in the marketplace. We have millennials, we have first time buyers. They're eager to purchase. They want to get into the housing market. And we have approximately 50% less available housing than we had back then. So when you have way more buyers and way less homes available, you cannot have a bubble. A bubble cannot ex exist when you have way more demand than inventory. The other reason is back in 08 versus today, 2021, you had homes that had no equity. So if people did get into a problem and they needed to sell, they were already underwater before they started. Today, the average homeowner in America has 35% equity in their home. That's huge. In addition to that, 08 versus today, the rate of savings. The average American today has 25% more savings than they had back in 08. So you have way more savings if somebody gets into a jam. You have much more equity in a home if they needed to sell. You have buyers lining up to buy their home and not enough inventory. Those things do not equal the issues that would become what would create a bubble. Another thing, people keep asking, well, what about the forbearances? Are we going to see a ration of foreclosures come down the pike? No, we will not see that. And the reasons that we should not see that are these forbearances are not, they're a very slow payback. They're not going to be a burden on the homeowner. Most times the banks are agreeing to take the balance to do, put it to the back of the loan, and they won't be paid back until the home is sold down the road. And again, with the amount of equity that people have, it's really not an issue. In addition, if somebody is to have to pay back, they have a choice. They can make a payment plan, they can put it to the back of the loan, they can pay it off in full if they have the money, but it's a very slow, non-invasive repayment with lots of options and it's not like the bank is coming to you as the person who took the forbearance and saying you need to pay this right now or we're foreclosing on your home that is not happening so because of that we are not going to see a ration of foreclosures or um, a bubble in this market anytime soon. Housing is predicted to be strong over the next year. Um, we predict approximately 7% appreciation. You can't guarantee that. I don't have a crystal ball. Those are just the predictions that we're hearing in the market.